Good morning. Welcome to the uh, Trans World Surf Shoot Yourself and Shoot Your Friends test. All right. We're here with uh, some of my favorite professional surfers, and uh, this is an average everyday beach break right behind me. Uh, we have Sean Marcerone, Daryl Goodrum, Gabe Garcia, Ricky Whitlock, and uh, if you see the photo annual, you're going to see a self shot feature. And basically, these guys pulling into 12 foot barrels holding $3,000 cameras. Well, these, you know, not everybody can do that. So today, we're going to do our own test. Right here, we have a G9 in water housing, and uh, this is about five, six hundred dollar setup. So that's a pretty nice setup. All right, you hold that. Thank you. We have a GoPro HD setup right here, and uh, I think that's like 200 bucks. And then, um, of course, the big dog, the Quick Snap waterproof, and uh, that'll run you about 15 bucks. So um, we're gonna go out here. It's a normal everyday uh, session. You know, we do have elite surfers doing this test. So uh, let's see what we can do, and let's see if these guys shoot themselves and their friends. Have you ever used a handheld camera? Yeah, I actually have. I'm experienced. Ten years old, in front of my house. <laughs> Switch off on the Doyle and we drive behind each other on the Doyle and take the photo. I swear I got one of my best photos from there. I just can't find it. I heard it fucking Have you ever shot a water photo before? <laughs> what, what camera do you think will be the best, like, just by looking at them? Well, G9. I don't know, uh, the best one will be the uh, GoPro. It's smaller, just a lot easier to operate when you're out there. Those other ones look a little bulkier. The thing is, um, the other ones you can take a picture when you want to, whereas the uh, GoPro will it automatically takes a picture every second or so. Have you ever used a handheld camera on yourself? Nope, never. What do you think? I'm kind of tripping. I don't know. I don't know where to put this thing.
a lot of thinking about on the way is kind of keep it in your mouth and stand up and then try to figure out which way the camera goes. I didn't think about surfing. The waves are small, so I was looking for like a lawn tram, but you stand up with the thing in your mouth and you gotta grab it with your hand and push the button. It's a lot, a lot of process, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> What was the hardest part about using them? Uh, duck diving. The most challenging thing was the bigger camera. The ones, the one that had like the, you know what it's called? Just that bigger one was hard to handle in the water because it had all the buttons on it. <laughs> Which one did you like? Um, I think that medium one, the one that Ricky was using mostly, probably was the most successful one and the little, the little square one. Pretty funny though. <laughs> If they came out, I'm going to play the lottery right now. Yeah. Did you guys shoot like pictures of each other when you're out there too? Yeah, that's. Yeah. That, I think that's what the ones are going to turn out the best. Yeah. All right. Well, utilizing a uh, scientific method only seen here on Transworldsurf.com, we've uh, figured a couple things out about our self-shooting cameras. Well, the uh, quick snap, waterproof holds 27 shots and uh, you know this is the one where if you lose it not a big deal but uh, you're probably not gonna get a cover from this but it'll be fun to try out to use you know start entry level right here uh, the GoPro you know obviously it's been proven the camera works really good uh, it's small enough you can take off with it in your teeth and you know there's a lot of mounting possibilities with that thing so you know GoPro it's probably a pretty good investment if you want to just have fun videoing yourself, shooting photos of your friends. And uh, the G9 in the water housing was a little bit too bulky to really shoot yourself on a wave. But, you know, if you have a perfect wave and you're in a channel, you know, that might be a good option to uh, shoot your friends on a surf trip. You know, it looks more like a, like a honeymoon camera, you know, shooting photos of you and your chick in the hot tub. But, uh, you know, if, if you want to entry level professional water camera that's a pretty good setup and again it's you know under 500 bucks so all three cameras uh, you can see the photos here on transworldsurf.com of course and uh, our best advice to you is to go try for yourself get a GoPro get one of these you know step up to the G9 water housing and uh, you can tell you can tell how much fun these guys are having so that's what it's all about shoot your friends and shoot yourself and have fun we're out <laughs>